Damage Control. Welcome back to Damage Control MMA, guys. It's been a while and we've missed you. We've been busy updating our software and our hardware and, and uh, certain production equipment for, for the show. And we've done that and we're back and we're excited to be here. And uh, what we've got for you today is a real simple um, drill to help develop uh, an attribute for uh, timing and evading different punches. Okay, so what we want to do to start out with this is find our range. So we're going to get into our boxing stance facing each other here. And um, I'm going to have my partner, coach here, he's going to lean out as far as he can on that jab. I'm going to put my rear foot, my, my heel down, and I want to position myself just outside of range. I want to give myself about an inch of reach there. And then he goes back, and then I bring my heel back up. Now, the technique we're going to work on today is called snapback. And what you want to do is pretend like there's a, a string attached from your chin through your body to your heel. So as your heel goes down and you go back, your chin comes down as well like this. Okay? So you go back. What you don't want to do is go back and have that chin up high. And another thing I see beginners do, and it's kind of funny, but it happens. And if you should find yourself doing it, have yourself laugh and then just fix it. Uh, I'll say make sure you put your chin down and they'll go okay. And they put their heel down and then they do this. So their chin is down, it was connected to that string, but their mouth's open. We don't want to have their mouth open. Uh, you want to protect that jaw by keeping it closed, protect those mandibles there. So put your chin down. Boom. So what we're going to do is coach is going to throw the jab right to my chin. Again, reach for it. I snap back, and the second it misses, I come back with straight right to his chest. In a fight, obviously, be to his face, but we want to get some speed on this, and I don't want to you miss and, and hit him harder than I want. So I'm going to pop him right in the center of the chest. So right here, he throws a jab and pop the chest. Okay? Then he's going to throw the straight right, snap back, and pop the chest. He's going to throw the left hook. And he always goes short, so I just wait, making sure I get a true feed. So typically for me to hit a hook, I would change my footwork to come in. Do you want me to do that or just reach with it? Just reach with it for the drill. Okay. Now, let's say, he, let's say he does do a lunge, okay, I can still just take, he lunges, so I'm going to have to retreat with my footwork, but in order for the still to go smoothly for right now, I want you guys to just get reps doing this portion of it, okay, and then once we do this, it's a little bit different uh, type of drill, so for the, in the interest of the drill, we're going to stay in the same range, you're going to throw that hook, good, and I snap back and throw my straight right. And then the last one he's going to throw is overhand right. Good. Overhand right. I snap back and pop the right hand. So here it goes one more time. He's going to jab, snap back, left hand. Right hand, snap back, left hand. Left foot, snap back, right hand. Overhand right, snap back, left hand. And then what we want to do is to put that in uh, to rapid succession. So right here he goes. Go ahead. Just, just the jab. One, two, three, four. Oh. One more time. This time, instead of punching him in the chest, you're trying to hit me so, in the chin. Right there. And that would be the basic drill. It's pretty simple. We're stationary. Is it the answer to every um, punch that's ever thrown? Absolutely not, because as we just saw, if he advances and lunges, that changes the game. If, uh, if that's all I do, I become predictable. He can attack my leg. Um, he can start to set traps for me because, again, I'm predictable. We cover, uh, we talk about um, being non-counterable in, uh, in the members area of damage control, and you know we expand more on that idea and show a number of other techniques you can use to make it really difficult for the guy to get a, get a read on you and um, anticipate your your counter or your your your, your defense. Um, but as far as just that simple, easy, fast um, drill, it's an excellent way to develop that timing, distancing, and the basic skill set for that snapback. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're looking forward to being back here on, uh, on YouTube and um, look forward to more from DamageControlMMA.com.